we're going into the transdimensional time warp. Prepare to enter the cosmic fluctuation. A whole octopus squadron. Whole squadrons of aliens. Race is coming. Whole squadrons are coming to take over the intergalactic region. Whole squadrons will be in place shortly. It's good to see you. Let's start off by playing a little... Oh, let's pay attention now. Look over here. Look over here. Hi. Hi. Hey, little guy. Let's play Name That Tune. Can you name this tune? Can you name it? Negative. Here it goes to the normal part. Now, oh, tears in heaven. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you get this little one. Oh, you get a little head rub for that. Yeah. <laughs> a little head rub. Okay. Here's uh, here's our first instructional of the day. Let's say we're in E minor. You know. Bum, 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 bum. You know, up here. Oh, yeah. And we have the option of playing this beautiful chord. If we were up in A minor, you know, this position, then we could play it right here. We'd start to give birth to another spaceship. The baby's been born. Yeah, the baby's been born. Oh, I love okay. my little baby. Okay, okay, okay. As I was saying, you know, here's our A minor position, right? You know, fifth fret, A. We have the option of playing that beautiful chord right here. Sounds good, doesn't it, little one? Yeah. So, keep in mind that the second note of your A minor position, right here, or the third note if you're going to play the whole scale. But anyways, if you're in this position, start a major scale on this, the pinky finger and it'll fit in that key, right? Now, a little bit slower for you. Do, re, mi, do, 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 re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Okay, okay. Someone in the audience has asked if we could play the triangle chord up in the higher register up yes, here, you know, yes. E minor, E minor up here. So you'd have to adjust slightly to reach this chord and simply go like this. Do, do, do. E minor, E minor. Okay, that okay. sounds good. That sounds good. That sounds good. Okay. Well, as we were saying, take the diminished chord, for example. Take any note from that diminished chord. You know, take any note from that diminished chord. And, and, and that chord is going to be leading up to the next chord. You can use that to change keys, you know. Just play a diminished chord. Just play the diminished chord. And then slide up the half step from any of the notes of the diminished chord, as we always told you in the Bible study group when we studied the guitar chords as if they was a little bit of a demigod or something like that. <laughs> now, just, <laughs> just take the old diminished chords. Here's a little thing I like to play some days on a Tuesday.
<laughs> an Arabian neon gypsy. I hope you got that. Here's the major yes, scale one more time. Do re mi fa so la ti do do re mi fa so la ti do do re do 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 do. Cut. Between a major chord. This example, I don't know which major chord I'm playing right now, but uh, you just lift off the pinky finger, and that's going to be your seventh chord in that key. Like, you know. It's a very subtle difference. Very subtle. Cut. Yes, very subtle. We're in A minor right now. Oh. <laughs> we just got into A minor. A good variation for that chord is the uh, this version right here. Just play this flat with this finger right here flat, and then bring the thumb around behind. Or some people like to play it like this, but I think it's pretty cool because then you can put this finger on, and you can put this finger on. Or just play it like this. You know that works everywhere. I wrote a song about it. It goes. And that utilizes our thing we already learned about the diminished chord. You know, I just took this diminished chord and moved up a half step from any one of its notes to the key of A minor. Got it. And then remember the variation I just taught you right here. Right there's that old variation. If you can reach way up here, you bet you can do that. No, that sounds pretty piss poor, doesn't it? Okay. Uh. A digital contact. Context. What was that digital context in the mind's intergalactic brain frame time? Digital context. Do you find it time to learn a little bit of a guitar lesson? Or would you prefer to watch my nostrils flare? <laughs> oh, yeah. Finch earthling do it. No, no, I'm not ready. I'm not forget. I'm not forget. I know. No. Composer. The final lesson that I wanted to give you for the moment is this. This is more so for electrical little one. It's for electrical little one. <laughs> it's um, This is more of a thing for an electrical instrument. It's not going to work, obviously, as good on an acoustic. Whoosh! Notice my jewelry here. Now... Okay. <laughs> Take a watch. Any watch will do. Flip it around like this. So it's on this side. It's got to be on your right hand if you're a right-handed player. Now that has a tremendous effect on an electrical instrument. You just got to be careful because I smashed a watch. I went like this, you know. And then at the end of the performance, I had no watch left. So... I find that this metal bracelet works great for this effect. Just imagine how that sounds on your electric instrument. Sounds as good as maybe a vibrator. That's another <laughs> great idea. Someone told me about that on the net. For our next lesson, children. Everything is in fifths. Take a... We've been using A a lot. If you're in A... Just think a fifth up from that, and that's the that's a good chord to lead to a or to play in that man. key. You, you think a a c e that's root third fifth in that key. Just think up to the you know to the e. That's an important chord in the key of a. That's an e seven it leads right to a. You know. Yeah. That may not have been an A major chord that I just played there. Let's try it with the A major this time instead. You've heard that. If you're in uh, G, you're going to play a D. And of course, that D is going to go to a C. And then you may play any kind of G chord there. G minor 
or major or G thirteenth. This is the thirteenth chord, by the way. It's like a backwards F shape here. You know, here's your, here's what, how it would be if it was an F. You just reverse that, and then put your this finger down right there. It's kind of like this chord. You know the you know the seventh chord. God damn it. Hey, yes, the A couple beers back. You just switch it around a little bit. You got the old thirteenth chord. This isn't exactly a children's program anymore. But we apologize to the censors for this uh, interpretation. Yay! Yay! Yes! The ultimate thing is occurring in your mind as you witness a jubilation of pixelation. A jubilation of pixelation? Yes. Instant. Instant, instant jubilation. No gratification from this jubilation. Carnal knowledge. Sometimes. Cloud Convoy has managed to land <laughs> sparklings. <laughs> Cloud Convoy it in splitting the orbiting sectors of planet Xeon. Xeon. Waiting for further commands. Xeon. Little one, I'd like to sing a little song for you. Yes. Little one. I know that we've been through several seasons together from rice in the fields to fruit on the vine and still I love you your little one and all I love the littlest green thing you wear I almost can see your nipples your nipples and then I want to see you at the store you fly in for a burrito, I'll see you, I'll see you, my friend, oh, you were there to care about me during this video, and I think that you're a sweet guy, your concentration failed on the part about the miners, which was the whole part, but we can suffer through that together, you and me, because we're a team together. Get out of get 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 out of bed, you little fart. Oh, the time we spent together with Cheerio and Cheerio and 